Hello everybody and welcome to another Plant Zoo video where we're going to be talking about how to design the perfect Plant Zoo final pack. So personally I've sort of avoided the Avery and Aquarium route as this late in the game is just not going to happen. What could happen is a much larger animal pack and not saying that all of these animals would make it in, these are just my picks for animals that I feel could complete uh, the sort of continents and regions that we have currently uh, to a substantial degree to make decent exhibits of. So let's get into it shall we? So coming up first is South America, easily the least represented continent in the game, except for Antarctica. But we're not going to be talking about Antarctica today. So South America has a lot of different species. It's a very diverse continent, so I've narrowed it down to 12. So some of the more obvious picks are the South American Kawati, the Black and Gold Howler Monkey, the Ocelot, the Spectacle Bear, Joffroy Spider Monkey, which would be a really cool addition, Golden Lion Tamarins, Patagonia Maras, Rias, Squirrel Monkeys, Bush Dogs, Tamanduas and Anaconda. So all of these species I think would round out the continent very well, giving us a variety of primates as well as a variety of other animals. And the green anaconda is just easily the the, the best exhibit animal to pick as well. It's the green anaconda, biggest snake on the planet, and we really don't have a lot of really big snakes, if any at all. But if there was any of these animals I would alternate, it would probably be the squirrel monkey type. Personally, I see black-capped squirrel monkeys much more often, and I think they, they're just slightly more eye-catching than the common squirrel monkey, but that's just me. A lot of people really do want the common squirrel monkey added into the game, specifically the Guyanan uh, subspecies, but either squirrel monkey I would be happy with. Another region that has seen some considerable uh, representation in recent DLCs is Oceania. So there's at least three animals that I would see added to the game, being the tree kangaroo or the matchy, well the goodfellas tree kangaroo or the matchy's tree kangaroo, the short beaked echidna or the parenti, the largest lizard in Australia. Any of these species would be really good additions. Tree kangaroo is probably at, uh, at the top of my list, then it would go echidna, then parenti. But there's plenty of other really cool species like numbats, bilbies and rock wallabies that I think would be really cool additions as well. And quolls, I, I would love to see a quoll, but I don't think there's too many of them outside of Australia as much as there are platypus, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. The Arctic is another region that we haven't seen a lot of representation of, but then again, there's only two animals that I could see being a, a, a completing roster of the completing roster type, those being the walrus and the muskox. Both of these animals are very iconic species of the Arctic and really are the only ones that I could see added into the game as Arctic hares I don't think really exist in captivity and we don't have flying birds or fully aquatic animals so these two uh, sort of, they, they fit the bill really well and the walrus and muskox I feel can't be left out of this, this version of Planet Zoo. North America is also a very diverse continent, much like its southern uh, neighbour. So there's a few animals I would pick here, namely the sea otter, the American black bear, the northern elephant seal, the elk, the bighorn sheep and the mountain goat. All six of these animals are more notable additions from the Pacific Northwest of America and I feel would be the most diverse additions. And bighorn sheep and mountain goats I feel are interchangeable as both would, either one of these would be a fantastic animal to add to the North American roster. And elephant seals, I know people really want the southern elephant seal, but I don't know how many of those have really exist in captivity currently. I do know that there are northern elephant seals in captivity in some degree, but um, yeah, I don't know about the southern, so northern's our best bet. Madagascar is probably one of my all-time favourite regions of the world and has a very diverse roster of animals. To keep this video contained, I won't list all of them or all the types of lemurs I would love to see, so I'll keep it to 
a minimum. So we have the Cockerel Safarka as my top pick, as I just love these animals and they are just so unique that I feel like Plant Zoo could really benefit from their addition. The Eye Eye is also a very unique lemur and would really add a very diverse addition to our nocturnal houses. Radiated tortoises are one of the more endangered tortoises on the planet and are probably my favourite as they have the probably the most interesting pattern on their shells. And lastly the panther chameleon as chameleons are currently the most requested exhibit animal in the game and the panther chameleon is by far the most colourful so I would love to see it. India is also a very diverse region of the world and there are two species that I would pick. We got the sloth bear and Eurasia ammo pack so there's at least two animals so those being the black buck a common sight in many zoos and the king cobra probably the second most requested exhibit animal and cobras in general are some of, even though it's not a true cobra but the king cobra is easily one of the coolest snakes in the world and I would just love to see it added into the game with some unique animations to make it a very interesting snake to have in, the, in your zoos. Just up from India we have the Himalayas which has two animals that I feel would be really cool additions those being the Markhor and the Palace's Cat both of which are pretty common in Asian sections in zoos and uh, well the Himalayas currently lacks a lot of animals we only have the Tarkin, the Snow Leopard and the Red Panda so an addition of a mountain goat and the smallest cat up in the Himalayas I think would be really cool. Eastern Asia is also a region that's currently lacking in a lot of animals. There's certainly a lot of choice here so I've narrowed it down to the Golden Sinopo's Monkey, the Tanuki or Raccoon Dog, for specifically the Japanese Raccoon Dog, the Mandarin Duck as we, we, we need a duck of some kind and the Mandarin Duck is the most colourful. Also the golden pheasants would be another very good addition. The giant salamanders would also be fantastic additions, but also um, the sarows and a few other animals would be really cool, but these are my top four. And lastly, Africa itself. So it, it's no secret that Africa just has a lot of animals and that this continent's wildlife takes up a large, large portion of the roster that we have and it still could add a lot more animals as I have here. The secretary bird, the honey badger, the mantle jerezza, the great white pelican, the Nile crocodile, Geronuk, and Hamadryas baboon. There are so many others that I could have put here, but if it were to end, round out Africa, this would actually be a pretty solid pack, you know? <laughs> but uh, if we were to round out Africa, these would be my picks and Honestly, all of them are just quintessential zoo animals. I mean, the Geronok is arguable, but secretary birds are a very interesting bird. Honey badgers are the toughest animal in Africa. Mantle jerezas are almost in every Congo exhibit I've seen. Great white pelicans, well, we need a pelican, and they are the most common in captivity. Nile crocodiles are the most common crocodilian in captivity, and we don't have an African crocodilian. And we haven't had a true crocodile since the saltwater crocodile in the base game. Geronok would probably be the most unique of the antelopes with their their signature rearing back on their hind legs to, to browse on tall on, on short trees and bushes. And the Hamadryas baboon, as we don't have any baboons, although you could argue the mandrel as they are closely related. But Hamadryas baboons are the most widespread baboon in captivity, and I would just love to have huge troops of these guys in the habitat. But that is the that is the roster I would end out Plant Zoo on. Now all of these animals would would not make it into a pack uh, because there's well just too many of them. I think I've got 40 or so animals in this in this video alone, and that would be a fair amount for one animal pack. So like I, I can't narrow it down as I, I I'm not I love all the animals and I don't want to just cut them all out. Uh, well, particularly any of my personal favourites, because it would be a very biased pack that way. Bush Dog would be in it. <laughs> but um, let me know what your thoughts are on this animal roster, and if there are any other animals that you think are essential for a final pack of Plant Zoo. Now, keep it out of aviaries and aquariums, as like it, it, it is late in the game for that. I would say those are Plant Zoo two things that would be added. 
So, yeah, what what habitat animals would you end Planet Two on? These are just my picks. I could be uh, I could be missing some very uh, high ranking animals on your wish list. But yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.